this video, I'm going to be showcasing the best script executor that you can currently get for free on the market that's keyless. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, to start, you're going to join the Discord server, which is going to be the link in the description. And once you do, go to the executors channel and go to the kernel channel, click it, and then go to my website right here. It's going to take you to this page. And all you want to do is look for the download kernel remake for Windows here, and then click the red download button. So guys, what you're going to do after you download the kernel v3.zip folder, you're going to click it, right click, and then look for extract all, click extract all, and then click extract. So then it's going to extract the files for you. So once it's done extracting, you should open up this kernel v3 folder right here. Just open up the kernel folder, and then you should find kernel bootstrapper.exe. You can double click that, and then it should show more info or just click more info and then click run anyway and then it's going to load up this bootstrapper right here so while it's loading up go to virus and threat protection go to manage settings and then turn off real-time protection and then click ok you can close out of that and you're ready to start exploiting so guys as you can see i ran the bootstrapper and now it loads up the script executor as six different buttons execute clear open file save file inject and options along with a script list that you can use to load in some code to the editor really quickly without having to code anything. Uh, it automatically comes with infinite yield.txt. If you want like a free to use admin panel script, as you can see, I click it and then it loads up the infinite yield script. So since we already have a working script executor, we can go ahead and go into a Roblox game and see if this works. So guys, as you can see, I'm in game and I'm gonna start by clicking inject and it should do like a little blink, uh, the script executor should and then it should say kernel is injected at the bottom when it fully injects and so what you can do is execute any script you want so i'm going to start by typing in a little uh print statement and let me go into the output real quick just to check that it executes the script and it should say and it should say hi whenever i execute the script so let's see if it does as you can see it executes the script and this says 84 percent SUNC, 85% UNC. So let me try using the infinite yield script. And as you can see, it executes infinite yield fine. I can use all the commands completely fine too. So it also has buttons like clear. As you can see, clear works. It has line numbers, syntax highlighting. It has open files. So let me load up some scripts. Uh, infinite yield is fine. I know I've used it a ton already, but trust me, it's fine. So we can use infinite yield. Save file, we can save this and save as type. Uh, you could do any that you'd want. You could do a dot little file and you can just use the file name here. It also has options right here. So it automatically comes with auto attach, which you'll have to recheck. And to apply these settings, you'll have to close out of kernel and um, you ha you'll have to reopen it. Also, auto execute comes soon, it's still in beta. Topmost, all it does is whenever you open up an application, it will show up in front of the application so it will never disappear behind any application that you open. So, for example, I'm gonna check auto attach, close all this out, and I'm gonna reopen kernel and see if it auto injects for me. So guys, I'm opening up kernel right now. Let's see if it automatically injects. As you can see, I just opened it up. It said kernel is injected and it automatically injects for me. If I go into options, as you can see, it, say, it also saves my settings. So I'd like to point out that in case you were wanting to close the program or wanting to minimize it, it has two little minimize buttons for both the options form and the main executor form itself. So guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next Script Executor Showcase video. See ya.